हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर मिलिंद शिरभाते असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी शंकरलाल खंडेलवाल आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज अकोला फ्रेंड्स आई ब्रिंग वन वीडियो फॉर यू अबाउट गैस्ट्रुलेशन इन चिक दैट मींस इन दी हेन दिस वीडियो आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर सेमेस्टर टू of subject zoology friends all of you know what is meant by gastrulation the gastrulation is a process just after the formation of blastula the late blastula the gastrulation includes uh, the two types of morphogenetic movements this we have to discuss number one is emboli and second one is the epiboli so what comes in the emboli we will discuss it involves the only epiblast which contains cells of ectoderm mesoderm and notochordal cells it includes convergence invagination and involution the formation of primitive streak and head processes is due to emboli process so this is all about emboli second we will discuss about epiboli it includes the overgrowth of ectoderm or epiblast and also of hypoblast cells so after the late blastula the embryo gets entry or it get forms the uh, primitive streak so how this primitive streak will form in chick we will discuss with the help of this particular diagram in this diagram you are able to see the area opaca the outer side or outer cells of this particular picture the in the middle you can see the area pellucida which is which is a transparent membrane and all the growth and development occurs in the area pellucida that means the creation of creation or formation of the embryo we called it as a early primitive streak in the a diagram you are able to see the early primitive streak and in the second diagram the diagram b the, the intermediate streak has been formed in this particular figure now what happens the latter stage we will discuss the mature primitive streak in the area pellucida it get enlarges in size as shown in the figure the figure number c that is definitive streak that is stage 4 and in the figure d you are able to see the head process stage that is stage 5th of embryo of 19 to 22 hours of the incubation so this all the processes are depend on the incubation hours or incubation period to the egg which has been given by the hen itself or you may also give the temperature to this particular fertilized egg inside an air oven so how the formation of primitive streak occurs we will discuss the various prospective mesodermal and endodermal cells forming notochord of the epiblast converge towards the posterior edge of the area pellucida and form a conical thickening in the midline called the initial primitive streak it appears after 6 to 7 hours of the incubation of the embryo or the egg if you see the primitive streak view from above and second is the primitive streak is a starting process if you see the lateral if you see the embryo from lateral side you may see the in the first upper side diagram the epiblast cell the hypoblast cells and the future mesoderm it get make a shape and on the above surface if you see the above surface of the egg so you are you will find the view from above the embryo is getting formed and the primitive stick formation is started so again the same diagram 
those we have discussed a b c and d in one diagram i want to show you how here i am showing the how the primitive streak get takes its shape for the formation of embryo these are the various developmental stages due to mitosis the primitive streak grows anteriorly because of the proliferation of its own cells and as well as of the addition of cells that migrate to it from anterior to lateral pairs parts of the area pellucida the elongated axis of the primitive streak marks the antero posterior axis of the future embryo it thus eventually extends to about 3/5 of the entire length of area pellucida so in this diagram you are able to see you are seeing this slide the epidermal ectoderm neural ectoderm the notochord is now form the cells of the notochord getting its shape precordial mesoderm is also seen is also shown in the figure somatic mesoderm lateral mesoderm and the primitive streak is also get form this is the diagram a where the formation of notochord and or the mesodermal layers getting form so this is the fully developed definitive primitive streak and it is usually completed after 18 to 19 hours of incubation by the hen or in vitro in the inside the oven the area pellucida also becomes pear shaped along the middle of the primitive streak when it is fully developed runs a narrow furrow the primitive groove at the anterior end of the primitive streak there is a thickening the primitive knot or hensens node the center of hensens node is excavated to form a funnel shaped depression you are able to see in this diagram the funnel shape depression the left side picture the surface and the right right side the patterns of the mesodermal areas as they spread over the hypoplast below the surface in this diagram the pattern of mesodermal areas as they spread over the hypoplast below the layer you can see the hypoplast layer is getting form the movements in the blastoderm leading to the final placement of the cells in the hypoblast and to the formation of the primitive streak in the epiblast may be called pregastrular movements the invagination and involution at the stage of short primitive streak the cells of the blastoderm already begin to migrate invaginate and involute into the blastocil cavity which forms definitely which will form the coelom in this particular animal that is body cavity this get form between epiblast and hypoblast cells at this stage immigrating cells are replaced by more epiblast cells converging towards the streak area the inward migrating cells also spread out sideways and forward from the anterior end of primitive streak the notochordal cells immigrate through primitive pit endodermal cells invaginate through that part of the streak which lies just behind the primitive pit the mesodermal cells of somites just follow the path of endodermal cells whereas the lateral misplaced mesoderm cells invaginate through the middle section of primitive streak but only after the disappearance of endoderm form the area pellucida the extra embryonic mesoderm of the yolk sac that is it migrates through the posterior part of the primitive streak meanwhile some hypoblast cells expand into the area opaca to become extra embryonic endoderm the lining of yolk sac while the hypoblast cells attached to mesodermal and notochordal cells are carried along <coughs> by the latter's migration so this is what the cross section showing the involution of mesoderm through the primitive streak you are able to see in the middle there is a groove we call it as primitive groove 
the embryo is getting its shape in this particular diagram. Then formation of head process. The prospective notochordal cells converge on the node, sinks through it and then passes directly forward as a tongue of tissue through uh, or it is also known as head process. It is a tongue of tissue or it is also called as notochord process. So here you can see in this diagram in the middle, if you see in the middle, this is the head process formation. The cursor is I am showing. This is the head process formation takes place in, in on this particular cheek embryo here. So here you find the notochord and the aortic root and optic vesicle. This is what the head process total prosencephalon and the ectoderm of head. This is the growing embryo. Now disappearance of primitive streak. How the primitive streak get disappears? We will see. With the gradual disappearance of the endodermal, notochordal and mesodermal cells from the primitive streak, it begins to shrink from anterior towards posterior side and it remains are partly included in the tail bud and partly into the cloacal region of the embryo. So how it get develops already we have discussed the in the diagram how the development head process but we will see point wise the midline area of notochordal tissue which I have shown in your in the figure develops into a rigid rod anterior to the receding primitive streak as the streak regressive posteriorly the embryo develops anterior to it the head process consists of thick central mass of the cells and more diffusal or diffuse lateral wings in the beginning it is also blended in the midline with the hypoblast then the thicker central portions from the definitive notochord whereas the lateral wings form the paraxial somatic mesoderm with its differentiation the notochord becomes detached from the hypoblast below except at the extreme end thus the head process stage is completed at about 20 to 25 hours of incubation the gastrulation is also completed at this stage so now the completion of endoderm we will see the next step or next phase of it the first cells that migrate through the anterior part of streak from form the endoderm as the Henzen's node recedes backward and notochordal processes elongates, the presumptive endoderm of the middle and posterior part of the gut located just behind the node migrates inside as an endodermal strip beneath the notochord. The original hypoblast and the floor of the blastocyl contributes to a very less amount to the gut. The upper migrated endodermal cells from the major part of the gut in chick, no archenteron is formed during the process of gastrulation. There is no archenteron formation. Now we will see the fully formed gastrula. The gastrula is fully formed when the primitive streak completely disappears. After completion of the primitive streak, there will be fully formed gastrula. The fully formed gastrula consists of the three germ layers that is ectoderm, corda, mesoderm and endoderm which will definitely will convert into ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm which will form the different types of organs in the body systems. The ectoderm and corda mesoderm remain in continuity along the axis of primitive streak. The endoderm it is also united with the mesoderm and ectoderm at the anterior and posterior end of the streak that is primitive streak. Now we will see how the three germ layers get formed. With the help of this diagram you are able to see the cross section of early cheek embryo illustrating the relationship of the germ layer how they get formed the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. So here you are able to see the ectodermal layer here the somites, the neural tube, the intermediate mesoderm, the somatic layer of mesoderm here, here it, it, it is getting formed and here you find the endoderm at the lower surface and here is a notochord and dorsal aorta it's, it's now started its development. So this is the origin of germ layers with the help of diagram. 
then formation of neutral uh, neural tube that is neurogenesis the ectoderm anterior and lateral to the head process becomes thickened to form the neural plate while the gastrulation process is going on the neural plate appears in the brain region now there will be the fast development of this all the type of tissues inside the embryo as hensen's node recedes further and further parts of the neural plate becomes differentiated and the anterior parts of the neural plate proceed to close into a tube the neural tube the formation of neural tube occurs due to sinking in of the neural plate due to which a neural groove is formed along its longitudinal axis it its elevated margins are called neural folds which rise up and grow toward the midline and fuse to form a neural tube the formation of notochord and mesoderm we will see with the help of this particular slide while the neural plate is folding into the neural tube the corda mesoderm is also differentiating its most anterior part the precordal plate mesoderm gives rise to the mesenchyme of the head and behind it the notochordal cells become separated from the rest of the adjoining sheets of the mesoderm and differentiated into notochord on either side of notochord are the longitudinal strands of sheets of mesoderm now the epimere or the axial or somatic mesoderms are the thicker dorsal medial strands which merge anteriorly into the mesenchyme of the head the mesomeres or intermediate mesodermal strands are located lateral to the axial mesoderm they are thin in an early stage hypomeres or lateral plate mesoderm lies beneath the mesomeres now most important point in this topic is the formation of somites the axial or somatic mesoderm beginning uh, begins to differentiate after the about 21 hours of the incubation about 1 hour later a second left appears posterior to the first cleft and thus second somite is formed the cells migrate into the spaces surrounding the notochord and spinal cord envelope these organs and later differentiate into cartilages thus forming the bodies and neural arches of the and the vertebrates now formation of coelom after the somites and the lateral plates have been formed the mesoderm of lateral plate splits into two layers the external or parietal layer and the internal or visceral layer the cavity between the two is the coelom thus the origin of coelom is sizocelic so here we have already discussed these things the process of late blastulation the process of gastrulation in which in which invagination involution and formation of three germ layers we have seen already in this video now we will this is the time to for the to demonstrate the summary of the events so after completion of the gastrulation process the embryo you are able to see in this particular diagram the five days of incubation uh, this is the egg inside there is an embryo this is the yolk sac and this is the amniotic layer and allantois this is the fifth day stage then after five days what what the development started in this egg we are able to see the allantois the amnion and the here is the embryo is taking its shape she shape then 15 after 5 days that is 15 days the albumin it, it reduce, reduces its shape the yolk sac is also getting utilized and the embryo is taking it, it is increased in the size and lastly in this after 20 days you are For seeing the legs are developed the wings are also developed the beak is also come and this is the head region and this is the complete embryo now it is ready to hatch on the 21st day so this is what the summary of this uh, chick embryology so with this uh, i conclude that this is in this lecture we have already discussed what we have discussed the gastrulation and chick and formation of up to formation of three germinal layers and the summary of the events
that is the formation of chick in detail thank you thank you very much